Hey guys, welcome to another JCL tutorial. In this episode, you'll learn the basics of JCL join keys and how you can use them to join data from two sequential files. My name is Jessica. If you're new to the channel, then please consider subscribing to our channel for more such tutorial videos. Let's get started with today's agenda. We start today's session with an introduction to a mainframe system. Then, we will talk about the JCL sort utility, that is DF sort. We will deep dive into the JCL sort join operation, followed by the business case example, where you're required to generate a report from two sequential files by using join keys. We will also explain all the steps of sample JCL, including join control cards. So, please do watch this video till the end for the live demo. The majority of the world's enterprise revenue and profit-producing applications, data, and transactions remain on mainframe systems. Sequential files are still commonly used in mainframe to store transaction data. Then, before the records in these files can be processed, they often need to be sorted or merged into an appropriate sequence. For instance, sales transactions that need to be sorted into customer or item number sequence before they can be used to prepare reports or update master files. Now, let's try to answer the following question. What is JCL sort utility, that is DF sort? JCL sort is a high-performance sort, join, and copy utility. It is designed to leverage the advanced facilities of the IBM ZOS. To perform sorting or merging, you use the sort merge utility. As you will see, you normally use JCL to run this utility as a standalone program. The basic functions of sort utility are sorting, merging, and copying. However, additional data utility features include a join facility, a multiple output facility, a range of report writing capabilities. There are many record selection and record reformatting facilities as well. A JCL initiated sort is more efficient and it's always recommended instead of internal COBOL sort. Now, let's discuss the join operation in general. In RDBMS, the SQL join statement is used to join data from different tables. You can perform join operation in many ways like inner join, full outer join, left outer join, etc. In the following example, the data from the DB2 table will be joined based on the field. That is employee ID. But you cannot use SQL statements on flat files. With the help of JCL sort join keys, you can perform various join operations such as inner join, left outer join, unpaired combinations, etc. on flat files. You can write the output into sequential file or in report file as per the project need. As I mentioned in my previous slide, that JCL is used to initiate the sort utility. Your JCL should have multiple DD statement to provide input and output files. In the following diagram, you have two input files, that is F1 and F2. The join operation is controlled by three important control statements. That is join keys, join, and reformat. We will discuss each statement in the last slide. Now, before discussing the sample JCL, let's discuss the problem statement because JCL sort join keys will be used to build the output report. As per business need, you are required to prepare a report. This report will include the list of employees who had paid tax in the last quarter. You have two input files. That is employee account file, F1, and employee tax detail file, F2. The length and record format of both file is same and each file have unique records. The output report should be in the following format and it should display data from corresponding input files. Let's deep dive into the sample JCL. And then we will focus on join key control statements. The sort JCL is divided into three different sections. Each section use different control statements. Let's discuss each section one by one. The first section is job card. In job card you specify job related parameters. 
If you want to understand each parameter in detail, then please do check out Job Control Statement video. Link is provided in description section. The second section, use exec statement and DD statements. The exec statement invoke the sort utility. However, DD statements are used to specify the input and output files. If you want to understand each parameter in detail, then please do check out JCL DD statement video. Link is provided in description section. I would like to underline important DD statements here. The first one is sort JNF1 and sort JNF2 are the DD statements used to specify the files which will be used to perform join operation. The second DD statement is sort out. Sort out DD statements specify the sorted output file, that is report file. Finally, the last important section is control card. That is sysin. The control statements are used to provide join criteria. You can specify different control statement to sort, merge, copy, or reformat records. Let's discuss each parameter of the control statements in detail. In the following control card. The control statement is split into two section, that is subtask and main task. In first section, you must specify two join key statements, one for the F1 file and another for the F2 file. A separate subtask will be used to process each file. The first join key statement defines the DD name and keys for the F1 file. The parameter file equal to F1 tells the DF sort that the DD name for the F1 file is sort JNF1. Fields equal to 16, comma 3, comma A tells the DF sort that the first binary key is in position 16 to 3, ascending. Since sorted is not specified, DF sort will sort the sort JNF1 records by the specified binary keys. Similarly, the second join key statement defines the DD name and keys for the F2 file. The reformat statement defines the fields to be extracted for the joined records in the order in which they are to appear. Since there is no join statement, only paired records are joined by default. The option copy statement tells DF sort to copy the joined records. The outfill statement tells DF sort to reformat the joined records, display a header at the top of each page, and remove the carriage control characters. Please note. That build operand of the outfill statement must reference the positions of fields in the joined records. Finally, when you submit this JCL on mainframe, it will generate report in expected format. JCL sort utility writes the resulting records to sort out. Thus, sort out contains these record. Please do join us for next tutorial on JCL sort utility tips and tricks. Thank you for watching this video. Please do share your feedback and hit like button. Do visit our channel. For more such tutorial videos on COBOL, KIX, JCL, VSAM, IBM Mainframe, TOGAF and Microsoft Azure.